All right, today we are going to talk about some of the best private schools here in the Charlotte area, and be sure to stay tuned until the end where I've got an honorable mention for a school that specializes in LD and ADHD students. So who am I? My name is John Patrick. I'm a full-time realtor here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I have lived here for over 40 years. I absolutely love it. I love the South, and I love helping people from all across the country discover our area and put down roots. So if I can help you, be sure, reach out, give me a call, give me a text, shoot me an email, but let's have a conversation and see how I can be of service to you. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you get notifications of any of my new content I upload. All right, let's jump right in. I've got my favorite shirt on, but before I get to the list of schools, there's a few things I need to say about how I actually put this together. See, Charlotte-Mecklenburg schools, the public schools, have somewhere around 150,000 students that they serve. In doing the research for this video, what I found is, is that private schools serve about 15, maybe a little over 18,000 students. We have over 70 or over 80 private schools in our area, and about 50%, maybe a little bit more than that, are actually faith-based schools. So the problem is there's no great single resource out there that ranks private schools, at least none that I would really trust. I've done three videos on elementary, middle, and high school, upper school for the public schools based on greatschools.org. I'll have links to those videos below if that'll help. But at least that gives us a place to start, and Great Schools was recommended to me by clients over the years who that's where they're going to get some information and start looking. So I want this video to not be the end-all, be-all, but to get you thinking about what's available out there in what areas of the county. I'm going to eliminate any counties outside of Mecklenburg. It's not to say there's not some great schools over there. Uh, over in Cabarrus County, you've got Cannon School. Over in Gaston County, you've got Gaston Day School. Both have great reputations, but I want to keep it inside Mecklenburg County, number one. And number two, I'm going to rate these based on uh, enrollment, how many students they serve. So these are the ones that you're going to hear if you just walked up and started talking about private schools here in the Charlotte area. These are the ones that are most commonly going to come up. I'm also below this video going to have a link to each one of their websites so you can go start doing some of your own research and some of your own due diligence, find out what their admission requirements are, give them a call, set up a tour, visit the campus, talk to them about, uh, number one, their teaching philosophy. A Latin school may have a different emphasis on the classics than another school. Um, number two, don't forget transportation. These are private schools. I think there's only one that offers any level of bus service at all. So this is something you would have to take into consideration with your student. How do you get them there? How do you get them back? Uh, number three, talk to them about their, their enrichment. You know, if your student is interested in band, in art, in drama, uh, talk to them about what they have in the classroom and also clubs outside of that. And also, let's not forget sports. If you've got an athlete in your family, not all of these schools are large enough to field, say, a football team, but they may have a great lacrosse and uh, soccer program. So this is a starting point for you. See what's out there. See kind of the areas that are being served. And I hope it helps. So I'll see you at the end. First up, Providence Day School. So this was founded in 1970. It's a very popular one with an enrollment of about 1,700 students. As you can see here on the map, it's actually kind of nestled right outside of downtown off of a Fairview and Sardis, just down the road from the South Park area. They do serve TK through 12 and you're going to see that this area is pretty popular. There's two other schools that are right down the road from it, but this is probably, I believe, the biggest in our area with a great reputation. Number two, Charlotte Country Day. Now, I think this is the oldest or second oldest one in our area. Um, just down the road from Providence Day, you can see it's right here on Fairview, again, right down the road from the South Park area. Uh, enrollment is just under 1,700. They serve JK through 12. Charlotte Country Day, being an older school, has an older campus, but they have a major 
ca capitalization program going on. They've just built a brand shiny new building out there, and they've done a number of renovations. Also, their middle school is a separate campus. It's just a, I don't know, a couple miles down the road. Number three, Charlotte Latin. So again, kind of up in the same area, but this one's a little bit closer to the Matthews area, down near 485. Enrollment's just over 1,400, and they were founded also in 1970, just like Providence Day School. But their focus is a little bit different, serving the TK through 12 ranges. All right, next up, Charlotte Catholic. This is only a high school. They only serve grades 9 through 12. As you can see here on the map, they're a little bit further south. Makes them very convenient to the Ballantyne area with a couple of great accesses up to the interstate and towards downtown. They were founded in 1955, but their roots can actually be traced back to 1887 uh, with an enrollment of about 1,200 students right now, making it a pretty darn large high school all by itself. All right, next up, Charlotte Christian. Founded in 1950, it serves about 1,100 students, JK through 12. I'm going to throw up a couple of maps here. The first one is kind of give you a sense. This is where it is in Charlotte. Again, off Sardis Road, down near Fairview, just outside of South Park. I'm going to throw up this other map here so you can see how close it is relative to Providence Day, Country Day, Charlotte Christian. They're all right there. So again, talk to them, see which one meets your needs. Next, Covenant Day School. Now this is actually inside Matthews, right off of 51 near Old Monroe Road. It is a Christian school, as you can imagine. It's founded in 1989 and serves about 860 uh, TK through 12. Uh, their campus is on the campus of the, the church itself, although one of the buildings is right across a little street. Finally, but not quite, Davidson Day. Now this is a little bit of the outlier, as you can see here on the map. It is way up to the north, very famous school actually, but founded in 1999, serves about 500. On their website, they serve toddlers through 12th grade, but a very good reputation and one of the best you're gonna find, I believe, on the north side of Charlotte. And finally, the honorable mention, and that is the Fletcher School. This was founded in 1982. They have an enrollment of 280-ish students. So it's a very small school, but they serve K through 12. But what makes them special is they focus on students who are LD or ADHD. So if you have a student who's not getting the resources, not being taught the way they need to learn at a public school system, the Fletcher School is an excellent option. All right, so that's it. I hope this helps. I hope this gets the old brain juices started and what's going on out there, what's available, the areas of Charlotte that they serve. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to help in any way I can. But again, reach out, talk to these people, tour the campuses, get to know more about them. And if a private school is right for you and your student, there's some great ones out there.